So I had this really great idea after finding a file for a Ryobi 18 volt battery holder. And as you can see, uh, several of these did not print all that well. I had uh, some just completely fail. Uh, this one pulled up was usable. I decided to go into mass production and that failed because I think three of them pulled up. Uh, so I went back to printing singular holders. Uh, I did have some adhesion lost and then this one let go right at the end. Uh, that one failed. And then we had moderate success. A couple of these, I'll show you in just a second, weren't perfect, uh, but they were usable, particularly for my application. Uh, I thought it was the plate. I cleaned the plate. I tried using glue. I think it just comes back to this was a cheap ABS, and I'm not going to buy it again. I kind of came to the realization that you, know, you buy a $2,500 machine, why would you turn around and buy cheap $12 per roll filament? And it, that that's coming around to haunt me. I mean, it was a you know valuable lesson learned. Uh, so you see a couple of these turned out really well. Still got some pulling away from the plate. And I don't remember all the settings that I changed over time. So like I said, I printed quite a few of these things that pulled away from, this was the mass print that failed. Oh, that's not it. Um, and some of these, you can see, they pulled away quite a bit and are not flat. Um, I did get some good prints. This is the only full one that it missed like just a couple of layers right at the end and I'll do some super glue and um, baking soda. Another you know, is that trick again. And if we lay these down, we'll get a little rocking. That's the only one that's solid. That one's got a little curve and that one's got a little curve, but with the screws, put a screw in here. Put a screw through the base. I think that'll hold that snug against uh, the side of a box. Not a cardboard box, but a wooden box. And I'll show you how these things fit. The uh, battery just oops, slides in here like that. And then you can mount that to the wall so you can just pull your battery out. Or in my case, I'm going to mount it to the side of a little toolbox. Um, so there's one, two, as you can tell, I had intended to do six battery holders, which I have here, uh, and I'm planning on doing three and three on uh, the side of a little toolbox to carry around. Uh, for my wife and myself as we do work with that's why I heard dirt and grit because it was dirt and grit uh, anyway a little toolbox to carry around with this one we're working with the chainsaw or working with the uh, reciprocating saw so this looks to be a good uh, width Obviously going to I'm, I'm obviously not going to build the box on screen, but uh, something about 12 inches long would be great. Uh, I'm going to make a very narrow box with a traditional handle. The box may be about that thick. Um, that way you could put reciprocating saw blades in there. I think the largest one I have is about 12 inches, so 12 inches on the interior would be good. Uh, put the file in there <coughs> for the chainsaw. Uh, a couple of other things. So there's three there. One, two, three on that side. If I needed to, I could stick another one on the end, but this gets 
pretty heavy as it sits. I was impressed with these though. Um, to, I think I did a couple of these on a strength setting and they are solid. Uh, let's see, here's a pair of channel locks. Nice and solid. Oh, this one, this print, actually I ran out of filament. Oh, you can see I put a little couple of little scuffs on there. I ran out of filament right there. And I had the second roll filled up, but the filament broke off uh, in the feeder and it couldn't extract all of the filament. So it sat for hours. Oh, you can see it better there. Right there, that nice ridge. I hope it shows up. I can see it here in the real world. It's right there. Um, anyway, so it sat for several hours before I found it and determined what had happened and finally got the filament swapped. And it swapped back over, or swapped to the second roll of this same green filament and picked back up. And uh, I did a really good job. I was surprised if it had been warmer, it wouldn't have uh, had this much cooling, shrinking, expansion, whatever, shifting on the board. But it did a pretty good job. Uh, I printed this side down for texture. Doesn't didn't really care about that but it reduced the number of overhangs uh, you can see inside this is quite beautiful these little ribs are solid and hold this quite nicely uh, most all of these turned out this way um, anyway so yeah these are going to mount to the side of a little wooden box so this will be part one this is part one uh, and then I will uh, build the box in the part two and assemble it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Too many hobbies, not enough time. It's a theme song, y'all. <laughs>